everyone welcome back to my channel where I do makeup tutorials makeup reviews hauls and unboxing so if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and let's get started because in today's video as you can see my makeup's already on because today I'm gonna be talking about my September makeup favorites of 2020 so it's it's September because we just past September but it's basically what I've tested throughout the year and what I love most in drugstore and high-end so I'm gonna like I picked a product from each um, part drugstore and high-end and I'm gonna go through to show you what my favorites are that I've been using on a regular basis let's start with my favorite 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 primer but before we go into primer I want to show you that this Nivea soft face body and hands cream this has been one of my favorites to use on the face morning and evening and it's been doing a wonderful job on my skin it makes my skin very soft very moisturized very glowy and healthy looking so I would really really recommend this it comes into like a big jar as well so but let's get into it and my favorite primer is of course the Juno and Co Muncha Miracle Cream Primer and if you want to save some money on this I have a affiliate code which it's at no cost to you. You just basically save 10% off if you want to purchase it. You use code ELINKA. I'll be putting the code um, name on the screen so you guys can save some money if you want to purchase this. This is a wonderful primer. You can use it as a cream as well. It's kind of like a thick consistency, not liquidy as you can see, and you can use it as a primer and face cream. I've already talked about this on my channel a lot. There's a review on it, so you can go ahead and check that one out. But yeah, this is from the high-end uh, part of makeup. I chose the Juno & Co Moonshine Miracle Primer, and I love it. And now, let's go into the drugstore want to show you what my choices are for affordable primers now I chose two I really really love these two products one is by L'Oreal Lumi Glotion as you can see it's almost empty so this is such a good primer it makes if you have drier skin normal skin it makes your face so nice and dewy and glowy and healthy looking under the foundation you can use it by itself or under foundation my next uh, favorite from the drugstore is the NYX uh, high glass face primer in the shade moonbeam so again I'll be linking all of these products in the description box below in case I forget to tell you a shade or anything but this is such a great primer as well and everything that I have on my face is basically what I'm talking about in today's video so you can kind of see how each product performs so I have the moonshine miracle cream right now on my face but this two I really highly recommend them and they're very affordable L'Oreal and NYX so those were my primers next let's go into foundation my favorite favorite foundation so far is now the rare beauty foundation this is in the shade 170 W please make sure you go to Sephora or where you purchase it from and double check your shade there because if you buy it online it could be a little bit tricky and it might not match your shade and you'll be disappointed so I went and I had someone help me out there and this is the foundation I'm wearing right now on my face it is very healthy looking and glowy and moisturizing remember to shake it you can hear the ball inside so make sure you shake this foundation before you apply it it has I'm sure by now you know a nice big dofu applicator kind of like a concealer type of applicator and I really really love this foundation it's one of my favorites thus far so another high-end foundation that I really really love is the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade I have 100 but please keep in mind 100 even for me it's a little bit too light I'm wearing this one on my face now I think I have to go a little bit darker on this this I bought online so I think I should just go into the store and kind of check it out there and see if I can get a different shade a little bit darker than 100 but it's okay because I still love it I love the formula and it has like a great pump so it's so cute so easy to store and put in your makeup bag and it's a squeezy tube with a pump again if it's too light you can always 
contour a little bit more and bronze and or combine it with a darker shade that you have so those are my two favorite high-end foundations so far that i've been reaching for lately next from the drugstore foundation as you all know this is probably everyone's favorite everyone is talking about this is the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation and mine is in the shade ivory i think let me double check the shade here 410 ivory it says right here on the back so yeah 410 ivory so this is a great drugstore foundation which performs at a very high end type of foundation cream on the face and it looks really it's good i believe this is good for all skin types because it says make sure pro tip you shake it well before using and blend it into the skin where you can use it with fingers or with a beauty sponge so this is a very good affordable foundation from the drugstore. Next, let's go into bronzer. Now, I only have a drugstore bronzer. I don't have a um, high-end bronzer yet. I have to purchase one and I have in mind the Fenty Beauty, the creamy bronzer. I really want to get that one. But my favorite that I've been reaching so far, look at this big bronzer. It's the Essence, and I'm sure you've seen me use this on my channel. The Essence 01 Natural Matte Bronzing Powder. It creates such a naturally sun-kissed um, skin glow, and you can see I'm wearing it on my face, and look at this. It is so easy to blend. It's such a beautiful color for me. It, like, it matches perfectly, and there's no patching on my face. There's no dry it makes it look like I just got a really nice tan just here's a tip so I saw this uh, her name is Julia Adams and I really really love watching her videos but she uses like a brush and she bronzes starts from here and then whatever's left on the brush she kind of goes over and over the nose and here and then she applies more and starts from here and does like this and she kind of gets a nice bronzy wavy look on the face and I really love that look so I've been trying to use it that way as well today as you can see and I'm really loving this bronzer so I'm really recommending this and this is like so affordable it's like three or four dollars very affordable and that's Canadian or cheap blushes I only have drugstore blushes I don't have any high-end bl blushes but again I want to buy the Fenty ones as well but uh, blushes I have two favorites so as you can see the colors one is by elf this is called the always cheeky yeah always cheeky shade and it's like a peachy peachy coral type of shade and then I have this one citrine rose by NYX sweet cheeks glow and it's a little bit darker shade but it's such a nice shade on the face I'm wearing this one right now as you can see it has this nice glowy peachy uh, effect on my cheeks and then this one is just a tiny bit darker than this and more pigmented so I really really love both of this and again they are very very affordable so lately I've been really going into this one been using this one a lot so I really really recommend this let's go oh I forgot we talked about the bronzer I forgot that I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer so when I talked about this bronzer right here for the high end I recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is a stick cream bronzer and I'll show you what it looks like that's what it looks like on the hand I mean on the skin so you can just put a couple dots and blend it nicely with a beauty sponge and it looks really nice on the face so this is my only cream high-end bronzer that i own and this is in the shade ming mink yes so anastasia beverly hills i really really love it so i forgot to mention this bronzer when i talked about my drugstore bronzer now let's go into highlighters as you know my favorite high-end highlighter well in my books it's kind of like high-end it's morphe so i can't really buy this at walmart or any drugstore so i consider it high-end is this highlighter and it is in the shade lit and it is so pretty as you can see i've been using it a lot look at this and I'm using this on my um, face right now in the inner corner of my eyes under my brow bone so I really really enjoy this highlighter look at this so satisfying so so adorable 
and this is very um it's it's powdery but when you put it on the face you don't feel the powder you know some highlighters they like crumble up when you put them on your face and there's fallout like they look nice in the pan but when they go on the face they all come like apart the pieces fall apart this applies kind of like a cream on your face i just love it even though it's a powder one so that's my favorite high-end highlighter and the favorite favorite drugstore highlighter Highlighter, very affordable and this is three in one you get it's the Milani um, 03 rose glow stellar lights highlighter and this is what I'm talking about so I'll show you so I'm gonna go into you have a highlighter you have kind of like a glowy bronzer and you have a blush in this one so we're talking about the highlighter now like look at this this is more on the lighter side and the Morphe is more on the yellow side so you can see here the difference you see this it performs at very high-end level I really really love it so this are really great highlighters I would recommend this because you get three in one if you want to go more on the affordable side I don't remember how much this one is but you can check it on the Morphe website I'll be linking it down below and yeah I really recommend this they're so so great products now let's go into mascaras and I'm sure everybody knows already my favorite high-end mascara that I own and I've tried so far is the Marc Jacobs Lashed Voluminizing Mascara in the shade black and I just love this it looks so it is high-end obviously my favorite bristles are the ones that are more rubber right like there's the hairy ones fluffy ones and they're the rubbery ones this is the hairy fluffy ones but even though you see what I'm talking about even though they're the hairy fluffy ones like not the rubber style I really enjoy this mascara it there's no clump there's also no clump on the mascara tube there's no clump on the bottom of the uh, dofu applicator nothing at the top it's just so evenly applied on the dofu applicator that it just makes this mascara so amazing and i really love it on the eyes and from the drugstore as you can see i love it so much that i just got another one of this so this is what it comes like in you see this is the maybelline rocket uh, volume express mascara it's in the shade blackest black 400 so this is the one i'm using right now i just bought a new one because i think i'm running low on this one and this is the one that has the dofu applicator as the rubbery kind so this is what this dofu applicator looks like again you can see there's absolutely no mascara clumpiness on the container there's nothing on the bottom of the dofu applicator like it's evenly applied when you take it out and this is exactly what I'm wearing today on my eyes and I really really love this really recommend this this is like six or seven dollars very affordable so if you want to go high-end I would say grab the J Marc Jacobs one this is the one I'm loving the most and from drugstore the Maybelline I'm loving the most next let's go into concealer now my favorite high-end concealer and this I got in a boxy charm it has been introduced to me from boxy charm is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer it's a multi-use sculpting concealer uh, you can conceal contour highlight retouch it has all those purposes it's in the shade cloud and this is the one I'm using and when I use concealer I like to if I don't use an eye primer I like to conceal my eyes and set them with powder or I put just a little bit right here whereas there's a little bit of some lines that can crease I use this concealer right underneath here and brighten up my eyes and I love it again this is the high-end version and my favorite as you can see it's done basically it's this Maybelline instant H rewinder eraser multi-use concealer in the shade 110 fair and of course I had to grab another one and I love this so so much when I don't use foundation I just like to go with this all over my face for like a no makeup makeup type of look uh, if I don't leave the house even if I leave the house this has such great coverage so beautiful and natural looking it looks like you have nothing on your face and it also covers any imperfections or dry or um, like dark areas on your face I just love this and again this is my favorite high-end concealer and this is 
my favorite, favorite drugstore concealer. Now, this guy here, I don't like to use under the eyes. I like to use it on the eyelids and um, conceal my eyelids and set them with powder and apply eyeshadow. But this is my favorite to use anywhere on the face except the eyes, unless I just use it by itself. So I don't like to apply this on top of uh, foundation. I've noticed that sometimes the foundation, like the concealer creases under the eye. So I like to use this kind of like a foundation type of product all over my face. And I will be doing a video with this and show you what I mean, how great it looks all over the face. So yeah, I really recommend this. I'm just loving this so, so much. Next, let's go into powder. My favorite powder is the, everybody's pow favorite powder, is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. This is the one I'm using under my eyes. I'm not the type of person to kind of powder my whole face. I have more drier skin, so I prefer my skin to look more dewy and uh, more kind of shiny looking. And if I powder, then it makes, gives it that matte effect. And throughout the day, it could look cakey and dry. Again, it's just my skin. It's not a product. This product is amazing. I love this Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's the small one and I got it a while ago. And all I use this is either to set my eyelids or under my eye when I use concealer. That's all. I don't set my whole face. I don't have any powder on my face. All I have it is under my eyelids. Now from the drugstore, if you want to buy a drugstore version of the Laura Mercier, you see this one. This is obviously bigger. This this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. I really like this. It's very similar to the Laura Mercier. Obviously, this is the high end. This is the drugstore version. But this only thing you have to be careful. Again, this is translucent. I will show you the difference what I mean. So I was expecting it to be, it's more on the yellow side. Oops. It's more on the yellow side, not the lighter translucent side, but, and it comes a little bit more darker on the face when you apply it. So you have to be careful with that. But again, I don't use this much only under my eyes and on my eyelids. And that's how I use my powder. So just be a little bit careful if you're expecting a lighter version on your face. This comes a little bit more more yellowish on the face. These are my favorite powders that I've been using a lot. Let's go into setting sprays. So I just came across this product. I've seen it on YouTube a lot and I had to grab it from Sephora. This was on sale when I purchased it. And it's obviously the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I love this setting spray. It has such a fine mist and it sets the makeup in place very nicely. It makes your face glowy. Again, this is what I am wearing today and I am just loving this product. You can use this product also to spray your brushes when you wanna get that uh, shimmery shade and make it more looking more shimmery on your eyes. So that's what I did with my shimmers today. Now for the drugstore version, I have multiple, but one of my favorites is this one. The e.l.f. The e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist and it has this nice coconut scented smell and I just love it. It's just so beautiful. The only difference is that when you spray this, it's not very um, um, nice mist. It's more like a sharp spray coming into your face, but if you don't mind, that's fine. But I really recommend this. This is again for dewy, more drier face, but I'm sure it looks really nice on any type of skin. Uh, you can just use a sponge and just kind of dab the nice mist into your foundation. And and it sets your foundation in place for a very long time. So these are my two favorites, drugstore and high end. That's what I would recommend. Now going into lipsticks. This is hard to choose because I have a lot of favorites, but I chose this one high end, which is the Dose of Colors. Again, this was introduced to me in a boxy charm. I just really love the packaging. That's what I'm wearing on my lips today. I really love the color. As you can see, this is in the color Mocha. Only thing I don't like about it, it's, it doesn't go, it only comes out. It doesn't go in. This is how the lipstick came. So you have to be careful when you put the lid on so you don't damage the top of your lipstick. But yeah, this is one of my favorite high ends. I have a lot, but if to choose like right now some lipsticks, this is the one I chose. And of course, from the drugstore, I have two favorites, NYX. NYX won't let you down. I love the NYX formulas. All the eyeshadow colors that they have and the shades are pretty. 
Mine is in Free Spirit. This is just one of them, but I have multiple shades and it's so gorgeous. Very similar to the Dose of Colors, right? So I love this. And of course the Maybelline Super Matte Lipstick and this is in the shade 55 Driver. This is such a gorgeous lipstick as well and it does stay on your lips for a while. I have this Brow Gel by Maybelline. This is what I'm wearing on my brows again. Now my brows are pretty thick from the beginning so I don't have to do a lot of work on them. So all I like to do is kind of fill them in with this gel and this is kind of like a brown color. So you just paint on them and that's about it. It's very easy, literally takes me like two seconds, not much work. But this is one of my favorite because I don't have to do a lot of work. So, and it's in a gel form, so I really, really recommend this guy. Now, let's talk eyeshadows. Actually, before we go into eyeshadows, I, don't, I only have one favorite primer. I have other primers from the drugstore, but I'm not a big fan of those because they don't keep my makeup in place and they look nice and creamy, but they smudge or they become crumbly when I put the eyeshadow. So there was no point in talking about those. But my favorite primer, as you know, it, I have it on my channel, a review on this, is the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And I love this. I have this on my eyes right now. I didn't set it with powder. All I did is I put eyeshadow and it blended amazingly. So I really, really, really recommend this. It lasts you forever, okay? And you apply it with a brush. Now let's get into eyeshadow palettes. This is the last on my favorites list for this September month. Favorite, favorite, favorite eyeshadow out of all my other favorite eyeshadow palettes is the Natasha Denona Biba palette. I love this palette so much because this is what I've accomplished with it. And look at this beautiful fall neutral shade. If you are not a color person, you cannot go wrong with this palette. And guess what? I didn't know this, but if you look on the back, do you see all those dots here? Now, do you guys know what they are? Because I didn't know and you can actually use a pin and push through those holes, right? They're actually little holes. You push through those holes and this eyeshadows will pop out and you can just go and purchase another one and place it back in there so you don't have to go purchase this whole palette if you run out of one um, eyeshadow in there. I had absolutely no clue. I saw this on a YouTube channel. Someone mentioned it, so I wanted to mention to you guys in case you guys didn't know. I thought that's pretty cool. So yeah, this is my favorite eyeshadow palette. The drugstore version of my favorite eyeshadow palette is the Revolution Roxy palette. Now you've seen me use this on my channel it has a lot of nice peachy brown neutral warm shades but i love that it has some pop of colors and in addition to it some really really nice shimmery shades which perform at very high end this is what the palette looks like and this is by makeup revolution the roxy palette and i just love it it looks like so high end you can use the front as a mirror you can see me where am I? No, you can see that. Here you go. See? You can see this. You can use it as a mirror. <laughs> I really, really love it. So, yeah. So, those are my favorites for September. I thought I should do one to show you guys my favorite drugstore products in case you like the affordable part or my favorite high-end products if you like to buy any high-end makeup. Anyways, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. It would really mean the most to me. And I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.